Hey friends, welcome to Project Homestead. It is crazy here right now. Oh, quick. I saw a mushroom that was growing in our, our garden. Remember the mushrooms that were growing? There was one this big. Don't eat it. As big as your nose. Don't eat it. See? That's how big my mom's nose is if you want Get to out know. Here. It's really small. Today we're going to go through the refrigerator and we're going to clean her out. <clears throat> because... Because I've been busy all day and I've been out of the house and I'm home now and I want to get the floor done, but I don't have time to finish that video. So I was playing around with the idea of going live tomorrow. I might still do that. We'll see. But um, I can't do that at seven. So I might do this video and then go live later and then scrub the floor with you guys. That's an idea. Let me just get you all set up. And then I will come back and we are going to tackle this refrigerator. What are you for? Are you a cat? No. Say you're a cat or else we will not let you have it. My refrigerator is crazy. This is what it's about. It's about constantly redoing what you've got. So. So we're just gonna go through the drawers. We've got ourselves some carrots in here. We've got some old, 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 old corn tortillas. We've got ourselves some tomatoes that we, oh, those are carrots. And we, we've got some tomatoes in there that are left over that we'll keep and some hemp seeds and then just some other fruits and veggies that really need to be used up. We've got some very yummy looking pears, which I wanna eat, but I'm fasting. How juicy and delicious does that pear look? I must wait on it though. That's off. Okay, so first we're gonna start by taking this towel out and this bag. I only had them in there because I put a really hot pot in there the other day, and so I needed to do that. Guys, we need to eat these. Should we do hot dogs for dinner? Yeah, hot dogs for dinner. We've got some butter. We'll leave that in there. gone this right here just a side note if women if you have a UTIs and you're shared all the medications and nothing's working this stuff is amazing D manos off topic but good what you got in here you want this half it with your brother yes more apples 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 I'm going to fill up some water and, in this bowl and then put this dishwashing detergent in there. I really like this brand. And then we're going to scrub, scrub, scrub. I'm just gonna scrub out all this grime. There's so much grime stuck there in the cracks and it's really gross and I've been noticing it now, I'm not gonna lie, for like six months. And so it's time. It's time that it, it disappears. <laughs> so we're really gonna scrub in there and get it all gone, all that gunk. I want to scrub my whole life, my whole life. If this is this is a metaphor for my life. Get in there and just do it. Uh, that's gross. So there you have it. We're just in there scrubbing out all the gunk, you know? You gotta keep doing it. And it's all these tasks in between that you gotta do and the daily and the consistency and just continue going which will end up getting you the results that you want. But it's all this in between, these little moments that really add up. So if you remember that little beach towel that was sitting in there that I told you in the beginning I took out of my refrigerator, I'm going to just use that because it was clean. So I'm just gonna use that to wipe down all the suds and get all the soap off and really clean up the top of this and dry it off because I don't wanna go and use one of my bath towels. I might as well use this one since I was gonna wash it anyways because it had a pot of chili on it. As I'm editing back this video, the sounds that I make that I'm making with this washcloth don't sound good to the ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute that for you guys, and we're we'll just talk instead or listen to music. But I'm just getting in there and cleaning up and getting all the you know it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't really need to tell you what I'm doing. I'm washing it down with a rag and then I'm gonna dry it out, and it's gonna be nice and clean and gorgeous. You know, I've been really lately, I've been thinking a lot about my videos and I've been thinking about how boring they must be because they're not really that exciting lately. Let's just face it, they're not that exciting. 
I'm not really spending a lot of money on getting new things and though I have this vision, you guys can't see my vision and so I'm, I'm extra touched whenever anyone sticks around on my videos because they're just not <laughs> typically what people go to be, you know, inspired by. But if I can say anything about my videos, it would be this. It's life, you know? It's, it's not always going to be exciting. It's not always going to be, oh, I did this big thing. Kind of a boring, a boring day. It's not really a much of an exciting day. And my video is definitely not very exciting. But for myself, this is kind of a way that I've been able to get through um, and not feel super overwhelmed or depressed about the fact that I'm not further along in my journey where that I want to be. Like I haven't gotten onto that land yet. I haven't done everything that I want to do because I'm able to sit in these moments and I'm able to enjoy these moments and appreciate the small moments. It has been so important for me to be able to do that. It's not something that we are really programmed to do these days, you know, to really just sit in those moments. You know, we're kind of told that we need the best this or the best that or whatever. We don't. So am I where I want to be right this minute? No, I'm not. I want to be in the land. But just because I haven't reached those goals yet doesn't mean that I can't enjoy the present, the here, the now. I can enjoy my children. I can enjoy the things that I've done. I've I've achieved a lot of things. Sorry. I've achieved a lot of things, you know, and and I have to look at what I've done. And I have to celebrate it in my mind and in my heart over and over again, those achievements that I've made because they help keep me motivated to keep going with my journey. It's really not all fancy all the time. It's more unexciting than it is exciting as you're going through a journey of getting through debt and doing all these things. It's actually, you gotta just slow down and go, okay, well, what can I appreciate? What, what things can I look for? Because of course, when you get yourself out of debt, of course, when you get yourself out of debt, you're going to be like, yay, and you're going to be so excited. Or of course, when you actually get the, into that house, you're going to be so excited. But what happens with all the other 300 and whatever days or 600 days in between or 10,000 days in between? However long it's going to take you to get to where you want to go. What about those days? Do you know what I mean? Do we just sit around being sad on all those days and hating our life? No. Though well, my channel's not always super, super exciting, I love the fact that I can, I'm gonna be able to look back one day when I'm at this place that I wanna be and I'm gonna be able to appreciate it so much more. There it goes. Yum. 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 Any more pears? Any more pears? I love pears. Oh, I've been really loving the pears. Got these. I'll send those to my kids' lunch tomorrow. So I'll send the plum. Mandarins to put in there. Potatoes. Got our potatoes in there. I love being able to see the fruits and the vegetables from the top. Take all these things down. Decide what things we need to keep. What we don't need to keep. That's ghee. Keep that. Ooh, I need to smell this. This is a ferment that I made. Oh my gosh, that smells so good! Keeping that. I'm intermittent fasting right now, so that smells so good to me. These are the turnips that I want to try, so I need to put these down. I think they'll be okay by tomorrow. I'm going to try those tomorrow. Eat them tomorrow for sure, for sure, for sure. Pickled eggs are almost gone. Now we want to wipe this down. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to put this back up. So, like things, like things. These are all probiotics and pre Prebiotics. Sorry. This is the prebiotic. Probiotics and prebiotics. It's going to go up there like that. Lovely. Love it. Put it in there like that. I've got two more pickled eggs. I've been leaving these in here because I really want to try one in like another month. There we go, friends. Nice. Let's go look at the garden. 
Actually, I'm gonna flip you around so you don't have to stare at my face. You can just stare at the garden because the garden is pretty. The grass is doing lovely. Our cauliflowers, lovely. Our cilantro is gorgeous. Our kale is doing great. These flowers, I just can't get enough of. They're so beautiful. Let's water everything. I need water. I feel like it's too dry. getting strawberries but the parrots come and eat them. This is literally parrot food. I think there's the uh, mushroom that my son said was the size of my nose. Mushrooms, lots of mushrooms coming up. Interesting. I don't know where the pumpkin comes from. Where does the pumpkin come from? Is it like in the middle? Do they sprout off the sides? Like where do they come from? I'm interesting to find out. I think our cabbages are starting to form. Yay. I'm telling you, that's really what it is, is the small things on the day-to-day -day that you can find to be grateful for because it's not always big stuff, you know? I've started feeling a little bit overwhelmed on my channel because I'm like, how am I going to make things exciting every single day? Like, how am I going to make things super fun every single day? And it's just the reality is it's not. I want to document the beforehand of getting out there. And I know that I'm going to get to a point where I've got so much stuff to do that it's always going to have so much content. Like, I'm going to have huge gardens, and I'm going to have preserving days, and I'm going to have so much stuff to do. Coco. Do you see her? She's like, let me in, let me out, let me out. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to get to that point, but right now is the, is the beginning parts, and I think there's something really beautiful in the beginning parts. And the quiet parts that I, I can appreciate right now because I know there's going to be a point where I miss. <laughs> I miss that I had this little tiny garden that I didn't have a lot of stuff to do. So. Like, so big. Is that the one that's the size of my uh, nose? Yes. Mine's pretty big. <laughs> it's pretty big like my nose? Hey. Hey. Do you love the garden, Hamish? How does the garden make you feel when you just look at it? Wait, wait, can I eat some of this? It's carrots. Carrots? Yeah. You can eat the carrot greens, but I wouldn't recommend it right now because, you know, the garden, the carrots Is need it. Any carrots ready? No, I don't think so. Gotta give it time, you know? Yeah, I was really happy about this. This came back from when we planted our flowers, and I was very happy about that. So hopefully it gets really big this year, this uh, this autumn. There's a mushroom all the way back there? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, Mom, are these the mushrooms that you tried to grow? No. Are those are inside. They're just growing there? Yeah, those are inside. I can show you the mushrooms. Can I see the mushrooms that I'm growing? Yeah. Come on. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, oh. Careful, don't break them off. You see them, how big they are? Whoa! Not doing much on this one, it's not done much. But the lion's mane is the lion's mane is growing very well. It looks like cauliflower. This one's not doing so much. It's not done anything really. Oh, did you get your box? Did you have you got your box? I knew you wanted that box when Macy was sitting in it. I knew you wanted that box. So I've been keeping them in the dark, but they're... I don't know. Hey guys, I'm gonna go upstairs and dye my hair. Actually, I might do it tomorrow. I might scrub the kitchen floors and dye my hair tomorrow. 
and multitask because I am so busy right now. Um, I've taken on a lot of things. I've taken on little tiny jobs here and there that pay a couple bucks, hundred bucks here, a couple hundred bucks there so that I can put that all towards debt. I'm working really hard to pay off my debt and to be able to move to that next place so that I can settle in a little bit better and then enjoy living off the land even more. Sorry guys, I wasn't able to finish my thought from earlier because I got interrupted with kids. But I'm just pretty much saying that I want to enjoy the journey. I heard somebody once say something to the extent of a lot of people don't notice the rainbow when they're looking for the pot of gold. And I really liked that. The rainbow is a really beautiful part, you know, and why not enjoy it? It's beautiful. There's so many things that you can be grateful for along the way. So I just thank you guys for your patience with me. Um, sometimes I do get on here and go, oh man, like I don't know what I'm gonna do because today's just a typical day and I'm not paying off a lot of debt today. I'm not canning something huge. I'm not getting a lot of stuff from my garden. And I can see these visions in my head and what I want to do. And I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt that it's gonna happen. But right now we're in the quiet, small moments beforehand. And I'm grateful for them. I want to choose to be grateful for the whole entire journey and not just in a year or two when I'm on YouTube and I'm like doing all these really big things. I want to enjoy the now, the here, the present. And I'm so grateful for you guys coming along for the journey. It's really heartwarming to me and I want you to know that I don't take it for granted. I don't take your views for granted. I don't take your likes and your comments and even your silent views. I don't take any of that for granted and I'm so grateful for your friendship and for your support. And that's it guys, that is it for this video. Um, I'm currently intermittent fasting right now and so Friday's video is going to be about that because I'm currently about halfway through my fast and feeling really good. So I'm just gonna keep going with that and I'll post about that on Friday. Monday we're gonna make some yummy stuff in the kitchen and then Wednesday for sure will be some deep cleaning of the house and I might declutter more because I feel like I got so much stuff out of my house but I don't feel like I got enough out. So I'm gonna be doing another huge declutter and going through all the stuff again. I, I even might get rid of this whole th unit or repurpose it, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but that's for another video, that's not for here. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.